finished in the top ten. Ow! <laughs> oh no, he's just bitten me! He's a unit, look at him. Look, he's got little girl's eyelashes, look. Little girl's eyelashes. Cut the clone the close ups for Scott. Dad, Scott is gonna have go <laughs> Scott needs to grow up. Scott, when you listen to this, you need to grow up, son. Hi guys and welcome back to this week's vlog. We are heading off to another event. I know you all love the eventing vlogs. So we're heading off to more tomorrow this morning. We have got Maximus who is currently eating his breakfast. He is in the novice, so it's quite a big day. It's his first novice since Pontusball novice last year. So it's also his second novice. The first novice did not go to plan. Go and check out that video if you haven't. We did get eliminated. It was definitely not a good novice for a first timer and it was basically like a small intermediate he'd only done two b100s this year but he's found them quite easy so i think it's definitely time to step him up now we were supposed to be taking kato i entered him in the b100 but on the wait list we haven't got in they have said bring him along and then if they get a late withdrawal then i can run him so i don't really know how it's going to work i think i might just take him because it's not the end of the world if he doesn't run and I might always get to school in there. Well, now Scott is not coming with us. He has got to work, mum and dad are, so the filming might not be quite as good as Scott because Scott's very good and mum and dad not that good with technology. Get them ready now, I'll take you along and then we'll head off to more tomorrow and yeah, ho hopefully have a great day. Dog, Bella. We're right next to the cross country, so I think he's a bit bit keen now, aren't you? I think he's a little bit excited. Load Kato back up so he's on the lorry safely, and then Dad and I are going to go and walk Maximus's cross country course. We're Take right the near the start, actually, so that's quite handy. So I'm going to go and start so walking the, the course, gate. and fingers crossed, Four, it looks long, like a nice down. novice for Maximus. <laughs> Number three, another just quite large but just straightforward roll top. Skinny for number four. We have got our first combination on course. Two roll tops, a little bit skinny and on an angle. I think we just watched someone go through so that is two strides I think. Three strides and then we're going into the B. Running a bit downhill, so just got to make sure, sit up, not run too fast to that because we've had sort of rolling fences before then and then that's quite upright and you don't want them to get too close and hit it with their front knees. We're coming at 14 A and B, nice step up. So we need a bit of impulsion here. This is the most technical, so we're going to come up with a step and then it is a stride. So you're going to get all over if him. If you have a stop at that, you can come over the 100. We're not going to have a stop because no, we're going to get all over him. Oh, I think it's hailing. Last combination on course. Just 16A in the water and then over B in the water, which is slightly skinny. Uh, we've also got a bit of hail going on now. It's not very spring-like, but we're holding our line not getting annoyed the dog look at the dog is even covered in white look at the state of the dog what the hell's happened to you Bella? it was 
very nice actually. I think it's a really nice fighting course, a few questions. Oh, it's literally hailing slash snowing. This is how bad it is, look at the dog. This is He's all, getting covered. This is all dad's obsessed with is the dog, not, not. I just found out, I'm pretty sure they put me in on Kato HC. So I did try and walk the 100 course We'll look at it as we're going round. We are going to go and get on, uh, go and get Maximus ready for the dressage. All right then, over and out. Let's get some cool angles running through. <laughs> Cut the clone the close ups for Scott. Scott is going to have gold for this. I've done a cut the close ups of the dog. Scott needs to grow up. Scott, when you listen to this, you need to grow up, son. Basically, that test for him was terrible. He just wanted to explode. He wasn't listening. He also was sticking his tongue out loads, which we kind of knew he did in this bit. So I changed the bit to a loose ring, happy mouth. And he was good the first sort of one or two times. And then he just went back to being overbent. So we've had to change back to this one, which is the happy mouth bomber tongue something which he goes lovely in and his frame is amazing but he likes to lick his lips which isn't great so we are going to play around with different bits that bit i'm not so annoyed at i'm just annoyed that he just literally wasn't listening and he's so excited he's just like pooed like five times on the way back you can hear him anyway we're going to go and head up and do the show jumping and not look at our dress off score basically because for him that was terrible <laughs> How do you think he got on there? Oh, I think that was amazing. I actually, we know we can do the dressage, so that's frustrating. But done four clear show jumping rounds in a row. He just made that. Like, yeah, he did. That was mince meat mince for him. Meat. That makes up for the dressage, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. That, that was really nice. Boy. Done four clear rounds in a row. Man. Shula, 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 shula. He's a unit. Look at him. So if we could get round clear would be quite impressive, yeah. unlikely. And see what it's like, see how he is on the grass, and just get a feel for what he's going to be like. Yeah, look, he's got little girl's eyelashes, look. Little girly eyelashes. He's got girl's eyes and girl's eyelashes and he's big.
I was very pleased with that for him. Don't get me wrong, he made a few mistakes, but I just wanted to come out and him be relaxed. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. They might say he's overbent. Yeah, okay, so when I first got him, he never relaxed and he didn't relax his neck. So even if he comes behind the vertical, but if he's relaxed, we're not overly too worried at the minute just at this point in training because what we've tried to do is get him to soften everything and not become so tense and tight. So Excellent, well done, nice. And now, Ashley Harrison rides her own triple dream. Combination ride for Concord. didn't touch Such anything. A good boy. I tell you what though, he just he loves yeah. the green grass for starters. Yeah. I just left him alone and actually he's, he was really good, really careful even when he got a bit of a dodgy stride. What do you yeah. think? Ooh. What do you yeah. think? Okay, we're on board. We're gonna go and get him warmed up in a minute. His ears are pretty pretty yeah, he look, there's his ears. <laughs> oh, we're zooming on his look at those ears. <laughs> so we just want to have a nice round, we want to go clear. I've got my watch on and I know the minute markers but I'm not overly worried about the time I just want to get a nice confident clear round so Kato's dressage score 29.3 29 29.3 point three. no Kato tapped up, ready to go cross country. So far, he's done very well. He's got 29.3 dressage, clear show jumping. So fingers crossed for the cross country. I'm just going to see what he's like on the cross country, enjoy myself. I haven't properly walked the course because I didn't even know I was doing it. So I've only looked at the jumps and I don't know my minute markers, but I've got my watch on. We'll just see how it goes and just hopefully have a good run ready to step up to novice soon. Clear round. Maybe 
just Alan one Luke. second over. Yeah, no, he was really good actually. He was a bit strong actually. The corner combination, if you're going to get any footage that's right, the back is quite a tight turn and I think I need some practice for turning. Yeah, um, she's a he big boy. He kept hitting my foot on the flag. Did you hear that one? Right? Was that you, I not him? He was really at my foot, but that's because he moves me over. I hit about three flags. I need a bit of practice. Uh, I'm really happy with him to finish on 29.3 double clear in our first event. Shame it's uh, H so he can't get placed. But he was awesome. Hey guys, so we didn't film an outro on the day because it was quite late by the time we had finished because we had two horses. So it is now a few weeks later. We've got Cato and Maximus here to join us for the outro. So we had a very good and successful day. He didn't do that well in the dressage. We had our worst score ever. However, he followed up with a awesome double clear in the time. So finished, I think, in the top 20. He has since we did that event, he has been to Tweezledown, which was actually a far tougher novice and he got a 33.8 again with a double clear and he finished second so i was so proud of him we'll and throw some photos of we'll throw some now. photos in of that kato also was amazing for our first ever event he got a 29.3 dressage which i was just um, like i was so pleased with that had a double clear so i was so pleased we were HC because he's got some points, but if we hadn't have been HC, he would have finished in the top 10. Ow! <laughs> oh no, he's just bitten me! <laughs> oh, Kato, he thought it was a carrot. That really hurts. <laughs> We're going to have a bit of a cry after we finish this outro. Uh, <laughs> I was so pleased with him. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog, guys, and seeing both boys at their event. I just want to say again, thank you so much for all your support, for all the views, the subscribers, really, really appreciate it. I hope you like this vlog and thank you so much for watching and we'll see you for the next one.